A surprise in a warehouse full of boxes. Stolen Nikes worth millions. KCAL News reporter Rachel Kim tells us how police tracked them down. What does $7 million worth of Nike sneakers look like? Well, police say that's what's inside these boxes found in a Torrance warehouse. <laughs> LAPD's commercial crimes detectives made the bust after serving a search warrant around 6 p.m. Wednesday. They say the case started with cargo containers that were stolen from trucks in LAPD's Harbor Division. Those containers were then taken to this warehouse in Torrance where the stolen shoes were offloaded. The thefts aren't a surprise to the employees here at Cool Kicks on Melrose Avenue. The store specializes in limited release Nike Jordans, which they say are always in high demand and worth a lot of money. We have shoes in here for that start at 150, um, and we have shoes in here that go for 15, 20,000. Frank Gariola is the buyer here at Cool Kicks. He says there are a number of factors that make these kicks so pricey. How limited they are. They. They sell out in seconds online and at stores and people, um, there's like a hype for them. I'd say just the collaboration and who's designing and the model of the sneaker too. The LAPD says they can't give us a lot of information because this is an ongoing investigation. But what they can say is that the shoes were the only items found in the warehouse. They try to sell them anywhere like to stores like us or even online. There's a bunch of places they could sell the sneakers. So. Yeah, they just they try to get rid of them as fast as they can. Gariola says there's a huge market for these sneakers. Dior collab. It's a ten thousand dollar sneaker. That's why they have plenty of security, seen and unseen. A couple of times people have tried to break down our door in the middle of the night, um, and then one time a car drove through the front door a couple of years ago. But yeah, we definitely we're heavily uh, secure here. As for the truckloads of sneakers found in Torrance, police say no arrests have been made, but they do have several people of interest as they try to find out who's responsible for this high-end heist. Yeah, having that many is very interesting. I would love to hear the end of the story. Rachel Kim, KCAL News.